welcome back or if you're new my name is Autumn and if you're not new you will realise that I am not where I usually am. The people who have watched my other videos know that I'm currently staying at the Moreland Equine Education Centre training to become a licensed lessons instructor and horse trainer. I'm currently at my Uncle Steve's farm as my cousin's daughter, is that second cousin or cousin once removed? I don't know. My cousin's daughter's pony is causing them a lot of trouble. His name is Warner and he has been rearing and bucking with poor Millie on his back. Now Millie is only seven years old and though she does have a very good seat it has caused her some nasty falls and since my cousin is actually too big to wide Warner she has actually called me over to have a sit on him and give her my almost professional opinion. Ah wait I forgot to address the elephant in the room my hair. I am back to my natural ginger self as the semi-permanent blonde dye that I had in it has completely obliterated my natural curls. So I'm currently on a bit of a hair care journey to try and revive them. So yeah, um, sorry if you're a little bit confused about that. Let's get started with the video now. As for animals here on my uncle's farm, there are many. So let's start with the cats. First is my late aunt's cat, Tango, who loves hanging around on this porch. And just to the right of him, we have Noir, who is my cousin's cat. And finally, my Uncle Steve's cat, Rennie. Then we have the six horses on the farm. There are the Liveries, Goldie and Spirit. Then we have my uncle's babies, the Appaloosas, Archie and Robin, who he rides occasionally, but spends most of their time out in the field. Then we have my childhood pony, who Steve bought for me when I was only 12 and now is staying here while I'm at the Moreland Equine Education Centre. Her name is Bee. And last but certainly not least, we have the troublesome Welshie Walnut. Oh, and I almost forgot, we've also got my cousin's horse Murphy, so there are actually seven horses. I came over and had a little chat and a catch up with my Uncle Steve, and he also told me like the ins and outs in detail of what's been happening with Walnut, just so I had like a bare background before our ride, and then I decided to go over and start it by getting him from the field. Look how cute the little tack set that Millie has for him is with the purple stitching and then the purple boots and even the throat lash on the bridle, like it's so perfect, I love it. Here's where we start having issues. At first I did think he was spooking at the cow, but he goes on to do it in other places in the arena, so I realised it wasn't that. And he did rear with me, which is a bit of an issue, but I managed to get him going again. Here he became very agitated and showed the exact same signs before so I knew the rear was coming so I just tried to calm him down however he did still rear with me. None of the mini rears this time he just went straight in for it so I managed to be very affirmative to try and stop that behaviour right at the stem because we really can't be having that with a 7 year old on his back. I then changed rein MXK to repeat everything that I'd done on that rein on the other. We went past the corner that he spooked at before and he did speed up a little bit but I managed to collect him which shows me that we have made progress just in one session and that means that he is willing to learn which is a very good thing. After letting Steve know my opinion and how the ride went I decided to go have a little ride on B. It's two months since she was last ridden, so I started off in the round pen just to be safe, but she was an angel as always anyway, so I had nothing to worry about really. And 
once I'd done warming her up in the round pan and I was confident that she wasn't going to throw me off, I decided to take her into the outdoor arena or the menage, whatever you want to call it, and try some jumping with her. Somehow she had forgotten how to jump, like, what is that? I don't even know. <laughs> At the end of our ride, B was going absolutely brilliantly. Just the confidence boost I needed after a bit of a rough time with Walnut. So I hope you all liked today's video because you're going to have to get used to seeing horses other than Domino because it is actually next week that I am graduating from the Moreland Equine Education Centre. I know that is that is just crazy. This barn that I've given you a little brief tour of is where I will actually be moving. I have had a brief discussion about it with my uncle and he has agreed to actually give me all the stables, all the paddocks here, just so I can build my equestrian centre from the ground up. That is all the information that you need to know now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. <laughs> Leaving you a bit of a cliffhanger. So yeah, see you later. Bye.